It was the second day that the Jubilee Brigade, led by President Tuhuru Kenyatta, was pitching tent in the coastal town of Mombasa, seeking for votes. And while meeting leaders drawn from all the six counties of the coast region, the president asked the NASA presidential candidate, Raila Odinga, to withdraw from the race instead of engaging in sideshows. Sasa, tukiwa hapa, tuasikia ya kwamba, anataka kutangaza hivi karibuni, ya kwamba yeye amejiondoa kwa uchaguzi wa tarehe 26. Sijui ni sababu gani atatuambia. Kwa sababu excuses hamalizi. Mimi nataka ni muambie. Wa Kenya wamechoka jameni. Wa Kenya wataka kusonga mbele. Wa Kenya wametumia pesa za kutosha. Jameni. Kama utaki uchaguzi uende nyumbani, wacha taifa yende mbele. Kama nia yako ni kulete confusion katika taifa letu. Kwa sababu unajua ya kwamba hauna idadi ya watu wakushindana na uhuru kenyata. Maandamano na fujo na kumwaga damu na kulete ghasia katika taifa letu is not an option in our country. Kenyata argues that although they are ready for the repeat their rivals are not interested, hence the reason they are staging demonstrations meant to cripple the economy. Arudia. Kwa sababu, wanainchi wa Kenya hawajahama bado wako, nadutarudi kupitia nyinyi. Kwa wanainchi, kuwa omba tena kwa heshma. Kura yao ndiyo tuweze kuendelea na kazi ambaye kumbele yetu. Na siku ya leo tukamua tuwe pamoja, Wakumbushe yale ambaye ametendwa, yale ambaye tuatarajia kutenda, na tuwaombe kupitia nyinyi. Mukiwa viongozi wa mashinani, turudi manyumbani, na tuhakikishe tumetoa watu kutoka kijiji, village by village. Na ndiyo tarehe 26 kwa heshima kubwa, tuweze tupate kura ata nyingi zaidi ya ile tulipata. Kama wewe ni mtu wa demokrasia vile unasema, tunakutarajia kwa debe, wananchi wa Kenya waamue, kwa sababu wananchi wa Kenya wamechanuka. Wanataka kujua lami imejengwa vipi, reli inajengwa na nani, kina mama wanashugulikiwa na eh, sera gani, watoto wao wanasoma vipi, wa Kenya hawataki kujua Mambo ya maandamano, sijui mutego ya kunasa huyu ama yule, kitenda wili hapa, sarakasi upande ile. Nyinyi wa Kenya muko tayari katika hiyo barabara ya tarehe 26 tufanya hiyo kazi. Munasema wa Kenya muko tayari kwa uchaguzi. And with former Mombasa Senator Hassan Numar pledging support for President Kenyatta alongside immediate former Taita Taveta Governor John Mrutu, who ditched ODM, the president is now rolling his sleeves for vote harvest in the coastal region town that has supported the opposition all along. Sasa wawe na ndugu yangu Raila waniambia reforms. Why can't you reform these small things so that we can give you, we can appreciate your appreciation of the smaller picture so that you can address the bigger picture. Kama wezu kumambia joho wacha ofisadi, then you cannot allow this country, then we cannot get out of corruption. Kana na wana jubile kukupigia kura yangu. na kukutafutia kwa wale ambao watakaonsikiza na najua wengine wako hapa kukusaidia kutafuta kura katika kaunti ya Taita Taveta na Pwani Nzima President Kenyatta for the promise those who lost in the various elective positions and the will be accommodated in government once he is reelected on the 26th of October Wale ambao hawana macho hata vipofu wanaweza papasa kwamba kumejengwa barabara na serikali ya jubilee hapa ukweli ama orongo Lakini kwa sababu tumezoea siyasa duni, anaefa, anaongea matusi hapa pwani, ndi upigiwa makofi zaidi ya wale wa maendeleo. Later, President Kenyatta visited Kongoea Market, the largest market in Mombasa City. The president witnessing firsthand the poor sanitation in the market, with garbage going for days without being collected. 
The president announced that the government would deploy the National Youth Service to clean up the market in the next one week. Ya kwamba huduma ya serikali haipatikani. Ya kwamba takataka imejaa kila pahali. Ya kwamba wafanyikazi ambao wanafanya kazi hapa ambao wanalisha Mombasa, ambao wanalisha Pwani wafanya kazi wakiwa na hatari ya kupata ugonjwa wa kolera kwa sababu ya chafu. Mimi nataka niseme mambo mawili. Ya kwanza ni hii. Hii kazi sio kazi ya serikali ya kitaifa. Lakini serikali ya kitaifa pia haiwezi ikae kando ione wananchi wakiangamia. Mimi nataka niwaambie kutoka wiki ijayo vijana wa NYS watakuwa hapa na wahakikishe ya kwamba soko hii imesafishwa na imekuja vile inatakikana. Tumekubaliana hivyo? Watoto wetu wamekuwa kama mazezeta. Watoto wetu wamekuwa hawana maisha. Mombasa hususa Nyali imetengwa sana. Naomba vijana hao wote unaona hapa asilimia sitini hawana kazi. Wapewe kazi. After the nullification of a presidential election on the 1st of September by the Supreme Court judges, President Uhuru Kenyatta appears to be the biggest beneficiaries of defectors who are moving from rival camps to join his movement. But even so, it will still be a matter of time to see whether this will yield into additional votes. President Uhuru Kenyatta will be in the coast region for the next three days as he seeks to solidify support in this area. John Jacob Curie, 4 Channel 1 News.